Yo, what's going on, everybody? This is Mystical today. I'm bringing you a plus 10 Dawnbreaker. We time it. We do really well. I'm happy about it. Uh, these are my talents. I will put a link uh, import in the description. I'm still working on it. It's cast in Mistweaver, so there's not much, not, not, not many people playing it uh, really in Keystone. So this is what I've kind of Frankenstein together across all my builds. So this is what I play for when I'm casted healing some some keystones. My healing breakdown is Vivifying Belt Mist, Soothing Mist are my top heals. So if you have any questions, let me know. I'm more than happy to answer any questions you might have. And that's it for me. Hope everyone's a fantastic or say, hope you do the video. I'll see you later. All right, what's going on everybody? This is a plus 10, which I'm excited about. So this is uh, one of the first 10, sorry, it's getting some music going. So this is my first 10 I'm gonna actually, we're, we're actually attempting to time this. <laughs> All the other ones I've done have been simply for the vault, but I I believe this is, this I think missed in turn of scythe. And now I think after the nerfs, I think necrotic wake are actually uh, some of the easier ones. Yes, I am casting. Yes, I'm playing caster Mistweaver because I enjoy it. I don't know why my mage walled there, but I'm gonna trust him to spell that debuff. And as as we're going on, this is live. Uh, can you meld this? No? Okay. I'm gonna just diffuse uh, magic there. They've cracked down on shadow meld, it feels like. It feels like every single time I try to shadow meld something, it just doesn't work. Anyway, we're gonna do our best to time this key. I'm gonna try to explain the mechanics as we go. And I hope we have a fun time, good time doing it. You know what I mean? Uh, is that a curse? Um, but yeah, yeah, if you have any questions, let me know, of course. I'm just gonna evaluate. I don't know what the NFS crystals from where that can be absorbed by enemy players. Okay. I don't think I've done this one before. <laughs> I don't think I've done this affix before. I've done the Oh wait. No, these are the orbs, right? These are I think they're the orbs. Well, we'll see. I got a really I got the Gale from my vault this week. I got the uh Gale of Shadows. So I'm pretty happy about that. I feel pretty powerful, not gonna lie. Uh, it's kind of nice. I get to replace a rage trinket. It's also mythic version because I got it on the. I, you know how we did it? I did a plus ten. Okay. okay. Funky just got absolutely obliterated. So. Anyway. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So we just absorb these. Yeah. Yeah. We want to absorb these. Good. 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 Good stuff. Good stuff. Good. Keep going. Dispel here. I didn't like to dispel one that much. The dispel one was a little weird. Um. Just gonna do this and sweep everything. I feel like we're kind of getting cranked right now. Um, the dispel one kind of was annoying. A revival was good, but obviously it's not poison cleanse totem. It is, it's just on two and a half minute cooldown. So these guys don't do too much. They just uh, dispel when you can uh, the debuff because it does hurt. And then someone's gonna get focused with the tormenting ray. So try to heal them as much as you can. I'm assuming this is an aug. So yeah, aug. Fisting's probably better, but I'm still not comfortable fist weaving yet. You know, I'm still trying to see see where I, you know, see where the vibes out with it. You know, I've done much fist weaving PvP or PvE, so you know. All right, so now we mount up. We go to each ship. We want to kill the ads, and then we want to uh, get the um. Well, we want to bomb these, right? I'm pretty sure. Yeah, I'm pretty sure we're gonna we gotta kill the ads though before we can bomb. So. Yeah, and uh, the, I feel like the hardest part of this dungeon is like the third boss. Outside of that, I actually don't have many issues with that. I'm just going to cocoon the mage here. I don't think he has this three-minute cooldown back yet. All right, good, good, good. Good, we get all 10. Perfect. What is it? This isn't right? Increases mastery and leech. Okay, good. Good stuff. This is actually good for caster Mistweaver. Mastery is pretty freaking insane. Um, bursting cocoon was actually on me there, and I shot him out of it. I, they didn't crack down on everything. But I feel like they've cracked down on a lot, so. Uh, I'm also, I don't know how I feel. Maybe maybe other people could tell me how they feel about it. I'm going to give you my honest opinion. Four and Tyrannical just feels rough, man. Like, it just feels rough. I don't know. I wish they did something a little different with it, but maybe uh, maybe I'm crazy. I could be I could be wrong. I'm going to put my statue down here, though. I could be wrong, but I don't know. Having uh, both those affixes together is uh, not the most fun. It is nice, though, because you don't need to wait, like, certain weeks, uh, which is nice, right? So, these guys don't do too much. Again, we're just kind of just healing. This whole duck, I mean, pretty much when you're casting on Mistweaver, you're just, you're just healing. There's nothing else, really, to it. Yeah, Cocoon on me. Yeah, I'll just defuse magic this. I think I believe this is magic damage. And bring it away from everyone, yeah. So, we just defuse magic. Yeah, that's fine. I also need to find a timer for the uh, 
the balls that spawn or like all the affixes from what's your face zelatoth because i don't have that bursting cocoon on my mage gonna absorb some of these balls good stuff good stuff we need, we're looking for 10 stacks we got seven eight nine one more ten nice good work team i'm gonna throw in for a 360 todd boom that's as much as i could probably do a little more damage too but all right, we plant that and we just move on now. I do think that the 15 seconds when you die is a little bit uh, excessive, if I'm going to keep it keep it real. So, uh, let my team know we're ready. Mystic Touch here, even though there's not really... This is a Boomy, right? Or is it a Furry? I'm not sure. All right, dodge these, um, these uh, lines. Oh, it is a Furry. All right, so we do want Mystic Touch up then as much as we can. Good. Bring shadow to spell. Good. Dodge the purple circles. They just take up room on the boat. Yeah. This is good. We're doing good. Spell. Lines. I think it's going to go to the left now. Oh, no. I'm going to probably celestial conduit here. Yeah, that's fine. Manatee here. Get the balls. Oh, this is going to get awkward. Okay. I can help with some. Most, maybe? Yeah. I love I love Mystery Mobility. It's so much fun. Okay. Diffuse Magic this back. All right, then we have the this one where you want to fly away. You can... I think you can get these yellow orbs when... uh To stay in the air. Let's kind of just chill with it, though. And then once they go back, you can land... I gotta keep our AUG alive, cocoon you. Be healing. I got you, brother. I got you. Okay, we should be okay now. Yeah, this boss doesn't hurt too much, though. Just make sure you dispel whenever you can. And that's a lot of damage. I think I'll just revival here, right? No reason not to. I also have Celestial Conduct for the next AoE damage that goes out. So I feel like we're doing okay. Big damage here. Good. Dispel. Orb spawn. I'll try to help. Oh. Don't know where a mage died. Avoid that. Okay. We get seven stacks of this. Not ideal, but I think it's okay. But it's fine. After after we kill, we uh or once we get the boss down to like one percent, we just start flying away. Oh, maybe the mage didn't get out in time. I don't think the mage got out of the circle in time. So, all right, beam. This is going to hurt if it comes my way. It is coming my way. Fantastic. Dodge it. Good. Todd. All right, so it's going to go into the middle. Gonna, and now we can, I'm pretty sure we can just fly away here. I'm like pretty sure we could just like dip out because it's just going to die. Yeah. I think the mage is going to res, and then we kill this boss. Yep, good. All right. Rax has a pretty good um, route for this, so. All right, good release. All right, let's do this. I think we get a lot of trash done here. I think we actually get to, like, 95% or something like that. So if we can get past this next boss, I'll be happy. That's pretty much the, the situation. The next boss is absolutely painful on tyrannical but we'll see maybe it's not as bad as i remember i re i think i did i think i did a plus 10 of this the first week and i was like damn i'm never going back there ever again so just healing here some damage is going out not the most damage so we're just kind of chilling good ibf for my death knight frontal you want to dodge it just don't stand on the ground and we're good good Good. Dodge your swirls. Try to help if you can. Uh, seven, eight, nine. Boom. Ooh. Slash your conduit here. Good wall from the mage there. We, we do have quite a bit of healing. I'd love Celestial Conduit in PvE. It feels it feels like so powerful. It's like an actual heal. <laughs> it's crazy. Look at that healing. Mm. Yeah, yeah. I think we go straight through this church and then we have like most of the trash we need. 
but you, you could see like 40 minutes. Yeah, I actually did this on the first week. You said I, I killed the second boss 40 minutes in, baby. What uh, we depleted it, sadly, you know, if it wasn't obvious. But this is good. This is good. Good, good, good. I'll probably sweep everything here. See some cast going. I'm just going to sweep whatever I can. Dodge the purple swirls. And of course, as always, if you see anything I'm doing wrong, anything I can improve at, uh, let me know, right? I'm, I'm trying to push keys. I'd love to push like 10s, 11s, 12s uh, would be the plan. Um, so always trying to improve. I think my gear is kind of a, a little bit on the lower end. I just feel like I'm at like a standstill with my gear somewhat. Um, oh, put my port down and port back up and get that orb where like I'm at six, like 20 item level and I'm just like stuck. I think I just need to spam a bunch of nines and eight nines and tens, right? You can do it on eights now and get the uh, Gilded Crests. So I think I need to just spam eight nines and tens and just get fully geared, upgrade everything whenever I can. You don't want to stand in the big circle that this guy spawns or you're going to get, I think you were going to get feared. I'm pretty sure. So just try not to, uh, Stand in it. It's a pretty big circle, though. Yeah, terrifying slam. Just it's a pretty big circle. Just uh, tank. If the tank's doing a good job, which our tank is, we can uh, take him in the corner. Makes that pretty easy. Just to debuff the abyssal blast. If you feel like you're dying, you can use diffuse magic as well for it because it's magic. It's up to you. Yeah. Big damage. Good. Good. Get all the balls. There's a blast. Good. Yeah, we've already gotten so much trash too. And then after the second boss, it's pretty much one pull on the boat, and then that's that. Yeah, so we're just going to clear this whole hallway, kick that. I'll sweep everything too. I don't know... I don't think it's the case. I know with rogues, I try not to DR stuns because I think their stuns actually are important. But I don't think it is the same. I don't think that's the case for ferals as well. I think I can stun whenever I can. And I'm just doing damage here, to be honest with you. And I want the cooldown reduction on Life Cocoon from uh, Yulon. So, the healing. The healing. Spin to win. Kick that. I got a little nifty macro where it kicks and then it targets my last target. So I basically don't detarget whoever I was healing before I kicked, which is pretty good. Revival during this, by the way, very important. A lot of purple, a lot of purple on the screen. Purple is my favorite color, but uh, kick this, uh, kick that. Good, good. A lot of healing. Oh my God, so much healing. We're actually cranking right now. Okay, good. Love that. I love that Mistweaver mana is actually insane too. I don't need to drink at all. It's kind of nice. And yeah, we got we got a good chunk of uh I'm gonna talk that. We got a good chunk of percentage there. So I think we're in a pretty good spot. We'll probably clear out mobs going up to the second boss, and then I think we we end at about 95%. The last time I did around the racks, so that's what it did. So good. But yeah, th th I think this is one of the easier dungeons. A lot of tank damage here too, so just be ready. I always keep my renewing mist with the uh, chi harmony up on my tank, just because uh, he's he most. I feel like most of my healing just goes to the tank, so yeah. Ball. Nice, 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 nice. Good stuff. Good stuff. Ball. Dash. Good stuff. All right, we're gonna go to the next what like mini boss, I guess. Uh, which is all the way over here. Okay. Last time we did this, he was in front of it, so. Celestial Conduit here. Oh. Our poor Aug. Getting whacked. Good B-Res. This is my least favorite pull in this whole place, by the way. I I, I legitimately hate this place. Or this, uh, this pull. There's, like, so much going on. There's, like, one-shots and everything, man. It's, like... Not the most fun, so the healing here, frontals, Aug dies again. Okay, it's a little unfortunate, but I had cocoon. 
I guess I could have pressed it. I just I was more I'm more worried about the tank than anything else, but I guess I could have used it on the AUG, but it's not a terrible pull if you just dodge the frontal. Like I want to cocoon my tank now. Right? Good aim Z. Like he, there, there goes my life cocoon. So no way. <laughs> oh my lord. Okay, he's died three times. Uh I think it's I think he's actually just dying to the frontals. I'm pretty sure. See, that's why it sucks though. The 15 seconds when you die is so rough, right? Like he dies three times, it's like almost a minute off the timer. That's tragic. Shout him out here so I can get out of combat. Because for some reason, I always get stuck in combat around here. Alright, we got one more mini boss. So we'll see. We'll see if we can time this still. I don't know. I think it's gonna be tight, but we're at 85% trash, so we're like right there. Like literally just gotta not die. <laughs> uh, it looks like a pretty much a pretty big pull here. Abyssal Blast incoming. Unless there was something I could have done. There was probably something I could have done. I guess I could have life cocooned the first time. Black, uh, dark orb, you want to stand right here. And you don't want the orb to hit the wall or anything. Otherwise it's going to hurt. Oh man. PV ears just always wanna. I, the one thing about PV ears I don't understand when I swap from PvP to PVE is they always press their button like right after they take the damage, instead of like on it. So here's a debuff right here. I just used to fuse magic, uh, nothing crazy. The orb is gonna come. Just don't get hit by the orb. It's this giant. I'm gonna. <laughs> Bro, there's no way, man. How are we dying? I I don't know how we're dying. No idea. Maybe it's me. I don't know. I. All right. Frontal dark orb on me. Just like stand right here and then don't get hit by the purple. Big giant purple ball. That's massive. You cannot miss it. <sighs> Revival everything. I do need most of my cooldowns for the next boss though. So I'm going to try to hold. I guess I don't have any cooldowns to hold, but I'll try not to, uh, no way he gets hit by that, right? Okay, good stuff. I'm gonna have to cocoon the mage, I think. Cause it's gonna explode. Okay. All right, this is probably, st what? I don't know how he died. I, I, I don't know how he died. All right. And we're going up, and I think we just shimmy our way between... Oh, yeah, yeah, the ad and the boss. Okay. Mana's a little tight. Not gonna lie, mana's gonna be not, not as fun, but we're gonna lust this, so that's good. Frontal here, so the same thing as, like, the last the last pull. Just don't get hit by the purple orb, and make sure it doesn't touch a wall or anything, and that's why you pull it over here, goes into the field, boom. Beautiful, terrifying slam, don't stand in the circle. Pretty easy mechanic so far. And then shadowy decay is just a lot of damage. Like just flat out. It's just a ton of damage you got to heal through. Uh, good bark skin. Good. And then uh, little adds are going to spawn. Animate shadows. I believe this is the adds. So I'm going to sweep everything here. If you have an AoE stun, if you have a demon hunter like Chaos Nova, Shockwave Warriors, anything like that. All right. The furry's got the ball. I'm just going to not stand in the way. Good. Good stuff. Good stuff here. Fantastic. Terrifying Slam. Fort Brew here. Cocoon. Oh, we Mage pressed wall. It's all right. That's all right. A lot of healing here. Just has to be. Good walls. Good. I might have Celestial Conduit for the next one. If not, it's going to be a little rough. All right. Send the ball downtown, baby. Good. Easy mechanic. Yulon here because it's going to explode. So I get the Chi Cocoon on everybody. No one takes damage. Beautiful. I don't think I have cooldowns for this next uh, AOE damage. The Decay. So this one this one might be rough. This one, this one might be tough. So we'll see. Good Dark Orb sending it down into the field. So close. I'm so close to having cooldowns. Nope. Here we go. This is not going to be fun. Oh, expel harm. Celestial Conduit. 
not even close. Really wasn't even close. I'm going to keep it real. I wasn't even sweating there. Fantastic work by our tank, by the way, who uh, has this route down to a T. Todd this. Fantastic work coming out of Raxum. Straight up killing it. Good. All right. So we should have enough for trash. So we just have one more pull. Pretty much. We, we should have one more pull uh, on the boat. And then we have the boss. So hopefully we can uh, time this. It felt it felt like it was going well and then it wasn't. But we're trying our best. There was probably some things I could have done. There always is, right? There's always something you can improve upon. So, But I feel like the 15 second off the timer when you die is just so... It could be 10 seconds. You know what I mean? Like that. That's what I mean. Like it could be 10 seconds and... Like one wipe shouldn't define the whole key, right? I feel like you should should be able to um, have some way to recover, or like maybe if you get to a checkpoint, like, you, know, you know how like brand like if you get to a checkpoint you get an extra life. Like what if like you get to a checkpoint and it adds an extra like minute to the timer, something like that. You know, I don't know. I'm not I'm not a mythic plus guru here. I'm just a mystery of trying to time a key. Good work though, killing it. I'm gonna save my manatee for the boss. So, can I mel drink? Yeah, I can. Yeah, yeah, okay. Yeah, you could. You a little, little thing if you're if you're night off, you can actually just mel drink here, and uh, even though you normally you'd be stuck in combat, so I'm just gonna drink to full while we're killing the, the, this trash is easy. So. All right, we got 10, 10 stacks, so this is good. All right, this this boss, actually, nothing crazy. Nothing nothing goes, nothing crazy happens with this boss. Um, you just want to make sure you get the bombs, dodge the swirls. Those are like the base. This, if you get this, you bring it to the side where you're supposed to. I kind of help out whenever I can by moving to help whoever gets it, but bombs. I'm going to send the bomb into the tent, onto the boss. Good. Good. Maybe next time I'll wait for the DPS to do it. You have to do that four times as well. So just keep that in mind. Three or four times you have to do the bombs. That'll get him down to what, 60 per 62% health, something like that. So bomb spawning. Should we just yellow? Just do it. Probably not. People are dying. The healing. Oh, there's someone. Pecunio. Okay. We did our part. We're doing our part. All right, there we go. You only have to do it twice. Four bombs total. That's right. Four bombs total. But you only have to do that part twice. Um, This part, you just fly to where the boss is going. I kind of like to follow him, but I don't know if there's a way to be efficient or inefficient. I don't know, but... Just following the boss. And I like to take all the orbs. These do nothing. This does absolutely nothing for the key. You can go straight to where the boss goes. I just, uh, you just kind of wait. You just kind of chill here. <laughs> so, yeah, just, you can just fly right here. Just vibing. That's right. And it's the same mechanics. I think there's one extra web mechanic on this, on this boss. So, or on this part of the fight. So you just bring it out. You just avoid it from everybody. But uh, make sure you kick the cast that he does when he comes in. Oh, 63%. This is actually a. Uh, we're gonna be on this phase for a little bit. I think we need to get him down to 59%, and he has quite a bit of health. So, of course, get that to whichever side it it wants to go to. Um, this is the web mechanic. You just kind of bring it out. Um, it puts goo on the ground, webs on the ground, I guess. Good. Dodge the swirls. Good stuff. Spray is just AOE damage. I'm going to Celestial Conrad here. Good. Help the mage out just a little bit. Good. Avoid the swirls. Get the orbs. I'm going to cocoon this guy. I'm, I'm going to be honest. I have no trust. I'm just going to keep him alive. 61%. Four minutes. We should be okay. Manatee here. I got some time. I got some downtime here. 
Send my Yulon during this. Get some Chi Cocoons out so we take less AoE damage. Dodge the Swirls. Good. Good. Thunder Focus T here. Get some Nyuzu's protection out on everybody. Good bear form from the Druid. Help out whoever gets that. I revival really soon too. Celestial Conrad actually decently soon as well. Dodge the Swirls. Good. This is AoE damage. We just need to not die. I'm just going to revival here, right? Yeah, no reason not to. Vote missed on everybody. Big healing. A lot of healing. Even more healing. Thunder Focus T into a uh, Vivify. Quick Manatee here. Last development missed here. Renewing Mist, Renewing Mist. Vivify here. Thunder Focus T and Velt Mist. Good, good, good. I have no more Renewing Mist. I have Celestial Conduit really soon, though. Help out whoever gets that. Boom! And that's a plus 10 Dawnbreaker, baby. I got a little portal.